Hi, my name is Rosetta Moss. I will be focusing on the piece Environmental Stewardship and the Need to Conserve Our Natural Resources. Why do we need to conserve the Nassau Grouper? Environmental stewardship is when an individual takes full responsibility to care for and manage our natural resources on land, air, and sea. The Nassau grouper is an important reef inhabitant throughout the Caribbean region. It is ecologically important as a predator helping to keep the population of the reef fish in check. The health of the reef is dependent on the delicate balance between herbivores, which feed on algae, organisms that feed on coral and carnivorous predators. It is an important food fish. Its meat is prized for local dishes such as boiled fish, stew fish, and group of fingers, making it an important aspect of Bahamian culture. It is important to the tourism industry. Each year, divers and snorkelers from around the world visit the Bahamas for the chance to observe healthy marine ecosystems teeming with life. Divers particularly enjoy the opportunity to see endangered species in the wild. What can we do to ensure that this national treasure continues to survive in the Bahamas? Obey the rules and regulation put in place by the government to protect the grouper while they are spawning. The closed season occurs during the winter months, generally from November to March, corresponding with the breeding period. Fishing during this time would cause the number of fish to decline Catching the juvenile grouper, which is less than three pounds, before they have a chance to reproduce, threatens the population for the future. The NASA grouper inhabit coral reefs as adults and mangrove creeks as juveniles, both of which are in a state of decline in urban areas. They are impacted by habitat destruction for coastal development, pollution, climate change, and by the presence of invasive species. We must also respect the no-take marine protected areas. These areas act as replenishment zones and include all habitats essential for the Nassau grouper life cycle. For example, mangrove creeks, shallow reefs, deeper reefs, and spawning aggregation sites. It is recommended that we stop exporting the Nassau grouper because the Bahamas is one of two countries that has a significant population of the Nassau grouper left. This would encourage visitors to come to the Bahamas to experience our scrumptious Bahamian cuisine. Let's preserve this national treasure of the Bahamas, the Nassau grouper. We would like to thank BRIEF, the Gerace Research Center, and all those who made this presentation possible. Thank you.